by Council Members Harris and Moreno. In order to change the name of Tivoli Circle, more commonly known as Lee Circle, to Harmony Circle, and otherwise to provide respect there too. There is an amendment, amendment to calendar ordinance number 33,687 by Council Member Harris. One, on page one on number line one, remove the phrase Tivoli Circle and insert the following in lieu thereof the park within Tavali Circle that was dedicated to the memory of General Robert E. Lee. This ordinance will change the name of Lee Circle to Harmony Circle. Um, I want to give you some background. Many of you know that the entirety of the circle is known as Tivoli Circle. In 1877, this city council dedicated the quote, ground within the enclosure or inner park to the memory of Robert E. Lee. Then a private group arranged for the installation of the Lee Monument in 1884. This was all less than 20 years from the conclusion of the Civil War and part of a clear effort to glorify the Confederacy and perpetuate racial inequality. Today we changed the name to Harmony Circle and we are showing the public that we are committed to continuing the work started by the previous council to end the glorification of white supremacy throughout our city. The name Harmony Circle reflects New Orleans where we work to come together and we all make our community whole. We celebrate our diversity as a strength, not as something that will tear us apart, but as something that makes us unique and beloved by residents and visitors alike. Um, I want to make a comment. We are not changing. The amendment does not change the Tivoli Circle. It, it change, changes the ground within uh, Lee, Tivoli Circle to Harmony Circle. So I just want to make that clear. I want to also thank Mr. Raymond, who headed up the naming commission. He's here today. Um, and if he would like to speak, I would love, for, love to hear him speak. If you want to come forward, you do have to fill out a card, though at the end of your speech. <laughs> Is it working? Sorry, thank you. Um, thank you, Councilmember Harris. Um, this is amazing, this is an amazing day. We've been doing this work now for, what, two years? Um, trying to rewrite some of uh, the wrongs that were done historically. Um, so as serving on that commission, I can tell you we did a ton of outreach around these issues. We spoke to stakeholders all throughout the city, I mean, for a whole year. Um, so to see this work continue and to see progress being made is, is amazing and I'm grateful for all of you. So We're grateful for you. Um, we do have another comment in opposition, Mr. Marsala. Okay, good. I, uh, I'm the president of the Italian American Federation of the Southeast, which is about a dozen organizations in New Orleans. We oppose the renaming of Tivoli. We actually sued the city council last year because we had been trying to get on the agenda to speak. There was no outreach to the Italian community. I'd emailed the chair of the Street Renaming Commission several times asking for permission to be in an outreach. This was all done during teleconferencing, so there was never this meeting that we see is in the ordinance. And in fact, one of the things in the ordinance that created the Street Naming Commission said it was to remedy the violent mistreatment of immigrant groups. 
here's a national newspaper for the Italians. The headline talks about the lynching of 11 innocent Italians in New Orleans in 1890. So we feel we qualify for this remedy, but yet we were never allowed it any of the 37 streets. We were never allowed to talk about Tivoli Circle, so we took it to the courts asking you to give us the same credibility you gave when you rename other streets. And had that happened, we wouldn't have this commonly referred to as Lee Circle. We know it as Tivoli. And in this ordinance, it doesn't say to even put up the Tivoli Circle sign outside the park. So we believe that harmony is a great idea. It would be best suited right across the street where it could honor in that park many of the civil rights leaders, many other ideas. But we were never given the opportunity to express that. And in fact, Moon Landrew erected the Washington Artillery Monument which is being removed, claiming that it was put up by him for white supremacy in, in seven, 1976. We lost Columbus Day last year, and many things nationally are being done talking about the lynching in New Orleans and how that led to Columbus Day in 1892. So we'd like to ask you to let the Italian community comment on this through the Government Affairs Committee, through, through Planning Commission, whatever it does to give us that equal treatment and give us a voice in talking about this. And we totally support the efforts of Harmony Circle and the ideas. Thank you, Mr. Marsala. I think uh, Mr. DeRusso has some questions. I, I just want to, I guess, I have a question for you and a question for Councilmember Harris. I just want to make sure I understand. Are you saying here that during the street renaming commission process that you weren't allowed to speak or offer comment on? Correct. I have numerous emails to Chairman Carl asking for us to be on the agenda. Your um, representative actually voted against the street naming process, and during that, there was a debate at the end. Because voted against the whole street naming. Yes, it was a streets? six to one vote. No, I, I don't. I don't. I think he voted against certain streets, but I don't know that he voted against the whole process. Well, I, what, what did he vote against again? Uh, he, he voted against certain streets, I think, but not the whole process. Well, it was a package deal. That was part of the problem. We were not allowed to talk about individual streets. When it would come up for public comments, you would be allowed to talk about the whole 37 streets. You weren't allowed to talk about an individual street here, an individual there. It was an up and down vote. It was not on individual streets. And in fact, the, uh, you know, the, the creation of that committee said it was to look at Confederate names. Tivoli Circle is not Confederate named. So we tried to get it pulled off the agenda because it wasn't on the scope of the creation of the Street Renaming Commission because it's not Confederate. It's Tivoli and it had been Tivoli since 1810. So there's no need to do it. Plus now, why can't we get the council to put up the signs that say well, Tivoli? That was going to be my next question, Councilmember Harris. So can we get the plaques up that say Tivoli? Yes. So I, I just want you to understand, the circle remains Tivoli. It's the park within that's called Harmony Circle. Just like it's always been Tivoli Circle, and they renamed it Lee Circle. So I, I want you to just be clear that Tivoli Circle still exists but the interior is going to be called Harmony Circle. I, I emailed your staff asking about those signs and they said no. That was this week. We'll get you some signs. Okay. Mr. I, Morrell. Yeah, I think I've, I've spoken to several people and I believe that there's a fundamental misunderstanding in what Councilmember Harris is proposing. And I want to kind of, kind of simplify this for the public that's watching online. Tivoli Circle, which is the donut, is staying Tivoli Circle. The center, the donut hole, was never Tivoli Circle. It was renamed after General Lee. The only thing that's being changed is the donut hole in the middle of the donut, which is currently not Tivoli Circle. So I do agree that we will absolutely endeavor to make sure the signs are put up because the signs should have been put up a long time ago. And I've spoken with Councilmember Harris. I've talked to Matt in her office. We are going to get the signs up. But I want everyone out in TV land to understand the part that's being renamed is not currently Tivoli Circle. It's a park named after General Lee. So I just want to be sure we are not voting today to rename the donut. The donut remains Tivoli. So I'm just trying to, like, I know it sounds very like Sesame Street, but I think sometimes when I hear the discussion, people get very confused because, honestly, because we're New Orleans, we call streets by names that don't exist or names that do exist and people have miscalled the street which is Tivoli Circle, Lee Circle forever not realizing 
it's always been Tivoli Circle, and it's remained Tivoli Circle. So I agree the signs need to go up yesterday because it might also help the public realize that this is an Italian-American landmark and that it needs to be recognized as such. But I just want to make the public aware we're not touching Tivoli Circle. We're just touching the park. <laughs> David, appreciate all you guys are doing, and we all want to work together. Right. So, you know, we're here because... When I read the ordinance from 2015, it actually said General Lee was being removed from Tivoli Circle. So the city council then had an opportunity to put those markers up, and they didn't. Now, this is we, a different council. Different council. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, I appreciate we're that. I know we're you guys are, and I appreciate all you're doing and listening to what you go through. I'm glad I did my eight years, and I'm now a veteran of Council Wars. So I appreciate what you guys do and uh, on that end. When you put it up there, can I ask, how big is the donut? Is the donut the area right around the, the column or is the donut all the grass it's in all it's all the grass so the circle will remain the same but it's the grass where lee circle look we're pulling up an image right there thank you it's thank the grassy you. interior circle so the part that we see around the circle where it says lee circle lee circle about eight six times yeah you are in agreement that we can get that called tivoli Yes, we will work with DPW as we always try to do to get some signage up. Okay. Now, I can't guarantee the swiftness of DPW and, putting and, up and, the and, sign. And, and, and Mr. Marcella, just, just so we're clear, like we renamed uh, Palmer Park and I still don't have signage there. <laughs> so I just, I just, I mean, that's, that's been months and months. So I, I appreciate it, but I think we are making a commitment that we want to get that signage away. Sure. And, and I, while I'm here and I have a, this, going on it saves right. me the time i got a lot going on i'm actually um been invited to go meet with the italian government next month in rome and uh, there's an opportunity for sister cities you know palermo we had a lot of sister cities at the time i would like to build a relationship with you guys who were able to promote italian tourism we have 300 members of an italian service organization coming here in july there's a big opportunity we have a free tour app of little palermo um Losing Columbus, they hurt. I'll tell you that. I mean, you know, we uh, that was done, we feel, because of the lynching, and it was a rep, uh, way of giving us an, an attaboy back. So to lose that is harmful to what we have. I have to speak nationally, and that's why I was invited to go back to meet with the Italian government. Is there, is there a reason why we we selected Palermo as well, our sister city? I, I like Genoa, so I mean, I was just wondering. It's a port city. Uh, We're a port city, so I like there's Venice. Option. <laughs> Venice, Venice. Also, I, I, wait, wait, we are Venice, wait, actually. Wait, so. wait, wait, as as the oh, as the lone Sicilian on the council, <laughs> half Sicilian, you, yeah, well, a quarter, half actually, Sicilian. quarter, quarter. Um, <laughs> most New Orleanians who are of Italian descent are Sicilian. And most are from Palermo or Cefalu or one other place. They yeah, the, are not from the, the, uh, Rome or Genoa. The, the ships place. left Palermo, and the Italian lemon was actually brought here, I believe, to help scurvy from starting in the 1830s. So New Orleans and Palermo were a big trade. There's other cities that are available, but there's a great Italian history, and uh, I've received some awards nationally for the films we're producing on that history. We'd love to have you back to talk uh, when you bring your contingent, so thank you. Uh, Mr. Burnside. Hey guys, I wasn't going to talk on this, but uh, I had a conversation with J.P. Morrell over there on the side, and I think this is an example of what I was trying to talk to him about. Language matters, and the idea of the word circle popping up so many times is harmful. You have a Duncan Plaza that is surrounded by different streets or avenues or drives or whatever, and it's easy for a person to speak of the distinction between what is grass and what is concrete. Right, you go to Duncan Plaza, you're not in the middle of Loyola, Loyola Street, right? I mean, so here you have Lee Circle, meaning both the actual concrete that made a circle and the grass that's also in a circle and the plith that's a circle. And of course, the statue is not exactly a circle, but you get the idea. So to call it Harmony Circle versus Harmony Plaza or Harmony Park or Harmony whatever is an invitation to confusion when you are now talking about and I cannot pronounce Italian words correctly, which is one reason that this is not going to work really well, but Tervoli Circle, right? Because the street apparently cannot be called a drive or, you know, whatever. It has to be called a circle because apparently it is one. But the park could be called something else. It could be Harmony Plaza. It could be Harmony anything. And then the distinction between grass and concrete is in the language. 
I appreciate it. Um, I'd like to go ahead and move. Council okay. member, there are some online comments. Oh, okay, great. Uh, about four. I mean, there's five, but uh, Mr. Marsal has already spoken, so. Are there any about Palermo? I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, I'm teasing. I said, are there any about Palermo? Um, the first comment is from Gerald Lanassa. Dear council members, I'm disappointed to hear the plans to take away the historic Tivoli name without first meeting with the Italian community, nor any of the actual property owners near number 850 St. Charles Avenue. Why would New Orleans change any name, label, or address without first meeting with those most invested or impacted by the name, the address change? Long before there was Lee anything, this circular park that connected Faber Santa Maria, today's central business district, and the lower garden district in New Orleans was called Plasti du Tivoli, also known as Tivoli Gardens or Tivoli Circle. The park's name derives from the legendary beauty of the centuries-old Italian gardens in Lazio, Italy, a source of great pride in our local Italian communities. Will you please reconsider and fully restore the Tivoli recognition in the location of our city? Carrie K comments, Italians have history also. Barbara Terrio, New Orleans has a large Italian and Sicilian population who have made many contributions to the city. The name of the circle should remain Tivoli Circle and Park. Harmony Park is better located in Duncan Plaza as that is close to City Hall and civil rights issues, plus has parking and safer access. Susan Marchiafava comments, my grandfather came on a boat when he was nine years old to New Orleans. He worked hard to learn the language while he worked to pay for his family to survive. I think the old name Lee Circle should go back to its original name after Italians. Tripoli Square, thank you. And that's it for the comments. Thank you so much. Um, I moved uh, Council Member Green seconded. Can I get some votes? Some votes. <laughs> <coughs> Five yeas, motion passed. Uh, do we have to do the amendment? Okay, this is the amendment, now we have to actually move. I'll move, Jerusa seconds. Please vote your machines. All right, we have passed the motion, thank you. Council Member Harris, I just want to thank you